Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another shoe video. My name is David and today I have the Reebok Pump Fury OG. So yeah, you can see in the box it said pump it up. And this is Reebok Pump custom fit. So you pump to custom fit your the shoe to your feet. So right here you can see it says Insta Pump Fury OG. And this is a size 12. And so according to my order, the shoe retail for 170 and I got like a discount. I bought it for 110 and yeah, $110 and 50 cents. So yeah, yes, you see this box is um, the 1990s box, you know, um, where Reebok pump was like really into like the pump technology and everyone was into it. So yeah, this is a classic look for the box. Let's open up and see the shoe. Uh, th I can believe this shoe came out in, back in 94. So Reebok brought it back like, you know, um, 2017, 16. If I don't remember exactly, please leave down the comment if I'm correct or wrong. But yeah, I got this shoe um, during the holidays. Uh, they got some sales. Um, I got a black color because easy go with like, you know, anything that you wear. Um, just black and white. As you can see the shoe right here that has the hexalite design and the hexalite right there. Um, in the back, they got another hexalite in the back. And in the bottom, another hexalite. And what like I like about this shoe is the shank plate. Look at that. It's like carbon fiber back in 94. That's pretty cool. Um, not only that, it's like the shoe, like the foam is in two pieces. One in the front, one in the forefoot. Kind of cool. And on the bottom right here, the traction you can see is a Reebok. Uh, on the Remedio side or the inner side of the shoe, uh, just have the hexalite design, but there's no hexalite window, so you can't really see it. In the back, there's a pull tab. And this thing is uh, for support, rubber, and it says Reebok right here with the Reebok design logo. And look, look at this. So are yeah, you guys in, interested in the pump? So what you do, you pump the shoe up and there's like this little thing right here, gonna pump up, fill with air. And once you wanna let go, I don't know if you guys can hear it. Air coming out, can't hear it. But let's try to pump it again. Yeah, a little bit of air come out, but that's about it. So these little valve will fill with air to custom fit into your feet. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. Uh, fabric right here. Um, it's all fabric all around. I don't see any leather. Maybe a little bit right here or fake leather. Uh, another pull tab on the tongue. So look inside, it says pump. Theory and then there and it says Reebok and let's look at the insole of the shoe so insole is just blue foam not too thick at all and inside feels hard like a cardboard so yeah, I don't think you can even feel the hexalite in this one it's so hard like I think they just glue cardboard or the carbon whole carbon fiber piece So let's put that back in. Yeah, the shoe looks looks good, um, but I don't know how it feels when you put on your feet. And it look cushiony, but not the inner part. So yeah, I like the gimmick of the pump. Uh, as you notice, there's no shoelaces for this one. So you just, as a slip-on design, and you just pump it to fit your feet. So yeah, what do you guys think? A uh, pretty clean design Um, didn't really have that many Reebok logo back in the day. Reebok like to put on the Reebok logos on the side. Uh, this is the back and it's not, you can't really see it. It's all black. So the cleaner look in the front, there's a little Reebok right here. And uh, the tongue is like more like a, a one piece design where you slip on your feet, slip your feet in there. But yeah, what do you guys think? Look pretty neat. 
Yeah, I like really like the shank weight. Looks cool. Oh, look at this. This thing's like hanging out, and Reebok always make like flaws like this. And I don't know, you can even pull it out. Like then when they cut the foam, didn't cut up perfectly. So it's still like a piece stuck right there. There you go. You can pull it out. But yeah, I'm gonna put it on my feet and see how it looks like. my feet so according to the Reebok website it says this thing is a nylon a ballistic nylon water repellent with synthetic leather right here so it's not real leather Um, this they call design for the street style I don't know what that mean but more likely it's gonna be more of lifestyle shoe than more like performance like running shoes Um. This is like the Reebok uh, pump, iconic technology, offer customization, lock fit design. So you can pump. See, I can make, you guys can hear the pump. It seems like it's, it's like, yeah, it's filled with air, but I don't know how you can hear it. Perfect. Yeah, there you go. You can hear the air coming out. So that's good. Uh, TB, uh, TPU midsole. Um, and it comes with a plate for support and stability. And they got the soft hexalite cushioning. Um, for me, I can't really feel the hexalite. Um, I feel more like I'm walking on cardboard than anything. The foam doesn't offer that much cushioning. So yeah, so you wanna might want to try it out um, before you buy this shoe. Um, instead of ordering online, just go to like Reebok store or Foot Locker or something and try it out before you buy it and see if you like the fit. Um, for me, I didn't really like the cushion on this thing, but it looked comfortable, but it's not. It's like the opposite of comfortable. So yeah, that's what I don't like about it. But um, yeah, this shoe is like um, very iconic back in the 94. Um, they make like dozen of design, different colorway of this shoe. Um, yeah, it looks good. But yeah, if you guys like it, then yeah, try it out first before you buy it. The fit uh, fits really good. Um, yeah, I didn't have any complaint about it. I just slip my feet in there and it fits perfect. And if you need more like custom fit, just pump it up. Make sure this thing is really, you really pump it up. You know, uh, sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So I don't know. To me, it's more like a gimmick, you know? You can feel a little bit of air coming out, but that's about it. Uh, the nylon design is waterproof repellent, so yeah, offer like easy to, to clean kind of shoe. But yeah, looks pretty nice. Looks futuristic back in the 90s, but it's still a 90s shoe. Um, the cushiony technology is not that great. I can't feel the hexalite. And yeah, what you guys think? Um, it's true to size to me, so if you guys get it, just get you know your true size. Um, if you have any comment, please leave down in the comment below. If you like this video, please smash the like button. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get future notification of my new video on this channel. And don't forget to share this video. Thanks again for watching and my name is David and I'll catch you guys in the next shoe review. Peace out. Yeah.